let's have a look at the next question the question says a shop owner bought a total of 64 shirts from a wholesale market that comes in two sizes small and large the price of small shirt is 50 rupees less than that of the large shirt she paid a total of 5000 for the large shirt and a total of 1800 for the smaller shirt the question is find the combined price sum total price of large and small together so let's assume on one side i've got large shirts and second side i've got small shirts if I assume the cost of large is x, the cost of smaller will be x minus 50, which is lesser than that of x. Now the question says, L into x is a total of 5000. And S into x minus 50 is basically 1800. Now we also would have to consider and conclude that the, that the number of shirts, whether it is small or large, will also will always and always be a integer number. If now you are considered this way that if uh, number of shirts is integer then the price will also be an integer so l x s x minus 50 all the values are basically integer now you cannot solve both of them but it's going to take a lot of time so possibly we'll use the options to solve them now the sum total price of large and smaller will be how much will be x plus x minus 50 which is 2x minus 50 if i go ahead with option number one which is 2x minus 50 is 150 you'll find the x to be as 100 and x minus 50 as 50. if i substitute x as 100 then the large quantity is coming out to be as 50. if i substitute large quantity as 50 then the smaller one will be 64 minus 50 because the sum total is 64 which is 14 and this value is 50. this value is coming to be as how much this value is coming to be as 700 i want this value to be as 1800 so this is not matching certainly this option which option are we talking about we substituted the value of 14 150 this option is not going to match so this let's take it out how about if i put option number two and see now certainly if you put option number two and see see what's going to happen i'm sure you will not even get an integer so they are saying 2x minus 50 is coming out to be as 225 so 2x will be equal to 175, 175 by 2 will not be an integer. Similarly, 175 will also not give you an integer value of x and x minus 50. So three options have been ruled out. I repeat, three options have been ruled out. There are only four options, so certainly you can mark option number four to be the final answer. But even if you want to test this out, what you can do here now is, let's test this with 200. The price is 2x minus 50 is 200 will give you the larger one to be on 125 and the smaller one to be on 75 piece to be on 75 piece l into 125 is 5000 so l will come out to be as what l will come out to be as 24 l will come out to be as 24 and s into x minus 1 x minus 50 which is 75 so s into 75 is coming out to be as 1800 so value of s is basically coming out to be as 24. Now let's see, larger is 20, larger is uh, 40 my wife. The large one will basically be on 40 because 40 into 125 will give you 5000. So large is coming out to be on 40 and smaller one is coming on to be on 24. Taking the sum count of both of them, you will see the final answer to be as 64, which is also matching, I repeat, which is also matching with the original quantity of both the shirts together. So hence, among four of the options, you ruled out three of them. So the leftover answer will also be option number D. Either you can mark or you can cross verify to be more sure.